Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about nausea, which is the most common side effect when you take levodopa. When I say levodopa, I mean Ritari, uh, Cinemet, which is the most powerful medication that we have available to treat Parkinson's disease, at least during the last 50 years. Now, before telling you what to do when you feel nauseated after taking levodopa, I mean Ritari, uh, Cinemet, I want to clarify a few points. Point number one, remember what is deficient in Parkinson is dopamine. So dopamine levels are low and that's why we are trying to replace dopamine. However, we cannot give you dopamine because dopamine doesn't penetrate the brain. There is a wall there. So we need to find a way to penetrate the that wall, that barrier, right? So, and that's why we use levodopa instead of dopamine. Levodopa convert to dopamine, but inside of the brain, but not also inside of, of the brain, also outside. And if that happened, you outside of the brain, you will be nauseated. You will be vomiting. And that's why we need to use the carvi dopa together with the levodopa for two things. Number one, to prevent the conversion of levodopa to dopamine and you becoming nauseated and to have more levodopa available to penetrate to the brain. That's the reason why we use carvidopa. Now, also, another point I want you I want you to know is, uh, do you ask yourself why we have carbidopa levodopa in two main doses? For example, we have sometimes 10 slash 100 and 25 slash 100, right? I'm talking about the immediate release, the, the, the yellow pill, the immediate release. So I don't know why we have 10 slash 100 because we really don't need that. We actually need at least 55 zero milligrams of carbidopa to be effective. So there is no major reason, there is no reason to use 10 slash uh, 100 of, of carbidopa levodopa. Try always to use 25 slash 100 because you need at least 55 zero to, to 75 milligrams of carbidopa levodopa per day so you can prevent the conversion of levodopa to dopamine outside of the brain, and then you don't become nauseated. Now that we understand why we combine carbidopa with levodopa, now I want you to learn how to treat those patients or how what can you do if you still feel nauseated. Remember that this might happen 20% of the time. 20% of the patient might become nauseated with carbidopa levodopa, especially during the beginnings. I would divide this in a few steps. Step number one, always try a low dose. So when you start cinemet, carbidopa levodopa, cinemet, the yellow pill, 25 slash 100, which is the one that you should be starting. The, 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 the one, don't take the 10 slash 100 because you need the 25 slash 100. Always take half of the tablet, twice daily or three times a day. I typically tend, tend to tell patients to take it for one week and then increase to a full tablet. Now, the other important step is to try to take this medication with something in the stomach. Snack could be uh, uh, crackers, could be a piece of bread, something in the stomach. Don't worry about uh, the possible interaction between proteins, amino acid, and the levodopa. Yes, they might compete to for the absorption, but I, we don't care about that now. I, the most important thing for you is to tolerate the medication because this is a medication that if you have Parkinson, you need this medication the rest of your life. Step number three, if that doesn't work for you, then you need to change the Cinemet 
immediate release to the extended release or continuous release, the ER formulation, or to switch to retari. So retari is uh, more expensive. Why we do that? Because when you use the long acting uh, formulation, uh, especially the retari, you don't have those peak or at least less peak dose side effects. And one of the most common peak dose side effect is feeling nauseated. And that's why we use uh, the long acting formulation uh, in those uh, situations. Step number four is to add a little bit more carvidopa. You can actually get carvidopa separate. So adding more carvidopa to your cinemet or, or to your retari to try to help you with the nausea, with nausea. Um, the problem is that it might be very expensive. The best thing to, to use is the, what we call good RX that you see here in the, in the screen. Uh, if you live uh, in US and then compare how much is if you use the good RX with your medical insurance and you decide. The next step is if you feel now shit, still feeling now shit after doing all these things that I told you, then you might need to use an anti nausea pill, anti nausea pill. However, be careful which one do you use because there are a few anti-nausea pills that are contraindicated in the setting of Parkinson's disease because many of those pills are blocking dopamine. And remember, dopamine is deficient in the setting of Parkinson's disease. So you don't want that. So you have to be careful, okay? See here what, which these are the one that you see here that you should not be taken because will make your symptoms, your Parkinsonian symptoms, your tremors, your stiffness, your slow movement worse. So don't take this one that you see here, okay? You can take this one that you see here in the screen, on the upper part of the screen, okay? So the most common one that we use here in US for that is uh, what we call Sofra, okay? Also this one, the uh, Tiga, T-I-G-A, um, also uh, is available. Uh, and there is a, this one available here, uh, but in Canada and in other countries, we don't have this one available uh, in US. But these are the three that we can use in the setting of Parkinson's disease. Okay. The good news is that nausea get better by itself. Uh, your body get used to. There are, rarely you will find patients that they cannot tolerate uh, levodopa. I have a, I have patients I can count with my hands. Um, there there are some patients I cannot tolerate uh, the carbidopa levodopa, uh, but this is very rare. Remember to treat also, and this is the last thing I will say to treat your anxiety because prior experience with carbidopa levodopa make you feel very nauseated. Just thinking about that make you have this effect. It is just like a mental factor. So you need to treat your anxiety because that predisposes you to have the GI side effect as well. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.